Hi friend, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Monty, and today we're going to explore all of the amazing food that's grown right here in California. And we're gonna make a pizza with it. Let's go on a food adventure. Los Angeles Unified School District's wellness programs in partnership with KLCS-TV and Dairy Council of California present Let's Eat Healthy Together. Do you know where pizza was first created? Was it in New York, Naples, or Nottingham? Pizza is very famous in New York, but that's not where it was invented. If you said Naples, you are correct. Over a hundred years ago, a baker invented pizza in Naples, Italy, when he tried to make food using the colors of the Italian flag, red, white, and green. He used red tomatoes, white mozzarella cheese, and green basil leaves, and pizza was born. Now, pizza is made with loads of different toppings. What are your favorites? I like having bacon on it. Um, yeah. I like pepperoni and tomatoes and basil. I really love mushrooms on my pizza. My favorite pizza toppings are pepperoni, pineapple, and maybe ranch sometimes. Um, and I normally don't really put vegetables on my pizza, but I eat them on the side. Okay, I love all of those too. But today, it's special. We're only using ingredients grown right here in California, so we can make a true California pizza. California's farmers produce some of the best food in the whole world, and a whole lot of it, from fruits and veggies, to dairy, proteins, and even grains. If you wanna follow along and make a pizza with me, remember to always have an adult with you to help. Okay, the first step is our pizza dough. One of the most important ingredients in dough is flour. Flour starts as wheat grown in a field, and the seeds from the wheat are picked and then ground into flour. What food group does dough belong to? Do you know? Grains, you're right! And grains give you energy. Now, let's make pizza. Remember, if you're following along at home, wash your hands before cooking, and always, always cook with an adult. Our first step is stretching out our dough. It should feel supple and silky. We're gonna start by just pinching it and moving it with our fingers. And little by little, it's gonna stretch out. Do you see it getting bigger and bigger? Now we wanna have a nice crust. So we're giving it about a one inch lip and we're not pinching that. Look at that. Next, we spread our spicy tomato sauce on the dough. Now do you know what food group tomatoes are in? I mean, yes, they are fruits because they have seeds, but they're in the vegetable food group because of how they're used in cooking, like in the sauce. Did you know that California grows tons and tons of tomatoes? The ripe tomatoes are sent in a truck from the farm to the store or to the processing plant where they're crushed, cooked, and then made into this delicious sauce and other tomato products like salsa, ketchup, and soups. Mmm, now that our sauce is done, it's time for the best part, the tasty toppings. And you know, toppings can be almost anything, but let's start with everyone's favorite, cheese. Did you know that mozzarella cheese is the most popular kind of cheese used on pizza? You might say it's pizza's best friend. California makes lots and lots of cheese, 
You know, cheese is made from milk, which goes from the dairy farm to a company that makes it into cheese. Okay, now I have a twist for the toppings. We're gonna spin the wheel of California ingredients and we have to use whatever topping it lands on. Okay, here's the deal. On the wheel, there's pineapple, almonds, anchovies, basil, garlic, olives, and feta cheese. Ooh, <laughs> almonds. Is it still a pizza if we sprinkle almonds all over it? Of course it is, come on. Is this a food adventure or not? Let's do it. Whoa, it'll give our pizza extra crunch and flavor. You know, almonds grow on trees, but instead of picking them off, the farmers shake them off the trees. Now, back to our toppings. You know, it's fun to try new toppings and try to represent as many food groups as you can. You may not choose almonds on your pizza, but what new topping would you be really adventurous enough to try? Tomatoes, olives. <gasps> Ooh, artichoke hearts, yes. You know what's missing, peppers. I love the crunch and the bright colors that it brings to our pizza. <gasps> what? Look at this, it looks amazing. It's like a work of art. Wow, and now it's time to bake it. Remember to always ask an adult for help in the kitchen, especially if you're baking. Let's put this in the oven. Mmm, can you smell that? Of course you can't, but I can, and the aroma of this pizza is making me really hungry. And because I work with food every day, I can tell when a food is cooked just by the way the smells fill the air. Ah, love it. If you cook every day, you'll be able to do that too. Speaking of, I think our pizza is ready. Look at this pizza. You know what I love about it the most is that it mixes a lot of delicious foods and nutrients from all of the food groups. Eating foods from different food groups helps your body grow strong and stay healthy. Man, I'm grateful to have so many farms in California making all of these delicious foods. Well, the end of this adventure isn't in the cooking, it's in the eating. I'm gonna make a slice for myself, and I hope that you cook some pizza at home with an adult so you can have some too. We've had quite a pizza adventure today, haven't we? We've learned a lot about fresh foods that we can mix onto our pizza. Can you remember what we learned today? What did you learn? Okay, try to fill in the blanks with me. The ingredients on our pizza came from California. Yes, farms. Cheese is made from blank that comes from the cow. Okay, that was easy, milk. How about this one? After the dough, the next ingredient on pizza is sauce, you nailed it. Great job! Man, this was so much fun, wasn't it? It was so cool sharing a food adventure with you. Remember, we are all mighty chefs. So be adventurous and explore the stories behind your food. Maybe you can start a conversation with the people serving food at your school, or talk to a farmer or someone who makes food. Ask questions at the grocery store. It's so fun to taste new foods, and it's even more fun to share what you know. So when you can, talk to someone special about what you learned today. Until next time, friend. Bye. Wellness programs support the needs of the whole child by focusing on eight areas of wellness. And watch on demand at healthyeating.org backslash together. Let's eat healthy together.